Welcome to Bytes of Code. In this video, we're just going to take a look at some themes. This is kind of new-ish, the ability to make custom themes on Replit. Replit is an IDE. It's a de in development environment that we have been using in order to code Python in all of our tutorials. And so I want to just put kind of a side video to show in case you wanted to play around with this IDE, online IDE called Replit, you can actually change some of the themes. Uh, right now we've been coding in the dark themes. So you'll see a lot of dark colors uh, really at the bottom once you log in. On the sidebar navigation at the bottom, there is a light theme, dark theme, toggle that you can use. But actually, if you go to your account, in your account, if you scroll down, you'll see the ability to create themes. We have official themes, spooky, dark, light right now, uh, but we can even go to custom tab and create our own theme. So we're gonna do our uh, little theme, bytes of code theme. And this is just to demonstrate, we're gonna do it in a dark mode. And you can see a preview of what the colors could look like. For example, in the background, usually we have this black, dark background, but you can actually even make it darker. You can make it true black. And in this section, there's a drop down box. We're going to click on Python because this is what we've been doing. But you can use other languages also to see kind of what your theme would look like. So let's do just a really quick theme in Python. Uh, for example, this keyword and this class name are kind of too close in color for me so you can hover over the class name or you can hover over any portion of this live preview you can click on it and you can choose kind of a different type of color that you would like let's do kind of like a brighter so it stands out a little more as it's different uh, the comments the comments i've always liked comments being green so I'd like it being darker green, kind of to fit in a little bit more. Uh, so we can do, let's do one more. Let's do strings. And we can do it in this section too. This left side, this left window has all of the colors that you use in any code in this, pi in this replet editor. So let's do strings. Let's make our strings look, let's do pink. Why not? So it's very easy to identify. Boom, this is a string. Uh, let's do numbers. We can do numbers too over here. Just kind of make it. So it's getting a little too close to the class name. Let's do like a purplish. Because that's the vibe we're going for right now. It's a real party vibe. 1952 number, a little bit purple. So if you're ever interested in kind of working on themes, custom themes, you don't really like the Replit theme, the defaults that it's given you, you can always go and make your own theme. I have a Python project loaded up right here. We're going to refresh this page and see how the theme applies. So we can see it gets a little darker. I like the, uh, the dark text and we see it. The strings are pink. And I actually don't have any numbers. Oh, yeah, I do. The numbers here are purple. But you can also keep portions that have already been in the previous default themes. So this is just kind of a cool way to change around the colors and make it more personal. It's always fun to mess around with the colors, especially in an editor. So this was just a short video kind of demonstrating that. But thank you for taking your time to watch this video. And I hope to see you at the next video.